Greetings gentlemen and ladies, Old School Game Snob here, and uh, if you are anything like me, you might be struggling with radial damage. Uh, up in the top left, I have a true or false indicator that basically says whether or not uh, an actor was hit by radial damage, right? And I've got uh, radial damage with fall off, an inner and an outer sphere. You can kind of see the little inner sphere and the outer sphere. That's the, uh, uh, the fall off range, right? So basically there should be a hit, registered as a miss. Oh, falling down, that's okay. That was a hit. That was a hit that time. That was also... Uh, was that a hit? I can't tell. It happened too fast. Those should have been hits, but you can see they registered as as misses. They were false. Uh, that was also not a hit. That one was 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 a hit. <laughs> that one was not a hit, right? Oh, I think it killed my guy. That's all right. Um, but uh, anyway, that was a hit. That was not a hit, right? But that looked like it was right on. I was getting, you can see it says false, right? False on my hit indicator. Up in the top left, left that should have been a hit. Wasn't a hit. Okay, so this was really vexing me. Um, here's how I basically got it set up, set up right? Um, hit location, event hit, hit location. Apply radial damage with fall off. You could also do this with without fall off. Um, damage fall off basically, I think, means uh, the, the distance between the inner and the outer radius. So basically, the inner radius does 100% damage, like your your full full damage, your base damage, uh, and then it falls off to the in between 250 and 500. Um, one one point one like 1.0 fall off, I think, means that. Uh, what does it mean? It says that, uh, let me let me just, I had a good description of this. It means that um, uh, twice the distance to the source means half the damage. Twice the distance to the source means half the damage. So, um, yeah, take that as you will. You can also put that up higher. I'm not exactly sure how that word works, but basically twice the distance to the source means half the damage. Um, so I would say that 500 damage probably means, or sorry, an, an exact radius of, of 500 would be half the damage. Is that right? I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure how the falloff works, but that's not the point. That's not, you can tweak that and figure out what works for you. That's not why we're here today. We're here because of the random results that you're probably getting, right? If you're, if you're using apply radial damage, uh, and you're trying to find help, you're, you're prob they're probably getting the same issue that I was. Uh, and that is like, why the heck does it hit sometimes? Why the heck, why does it not? It's within the, within the sphere, right? So it should hit every time. That, that hit. Uh, I think that hit. That also hit. That did not hit. That did. That did. Well, I'm getting quite a few good hits here. I was hoping to have some more fails so you guys could see uh, it failing more because it definitely was failing a lot. There we go. That was a fail. That was a false. That was also a false. Okay? So you can see that the, the, the character is well within the radius, but they're not taking damage. Now, what I basically uh, guessed is that... It could be that apply radial damage is drawing a, a line trace from its impact source and it's <clears throat> trying to detect whether or not there's something that it's colliding with that might stop uh, might stop the uh, might stop the, the the hit from registering right and then I got to thinking well there's all sorts of micro variation in my surface train right like tiny little variations in my surface train so it might not look like much from you know from a distance but up close could this tiny little rock pebble or something like that, you know, if the impact point is exactly right here, could that tiny little, little you know, rock pebble or micro variation in geometry be responsible? And that might just be a, a roughness map. That might not actually be geometry right there. But I think you get the idea. It's, I've got geometry, which is kind of um, it, it, not perfectly, not you know, not perfectly flat, right? So say the impact was exactly right here. And then this little ledge blocked the the trace, right? Could this block the trace and stop it from from reaching the pond? And that, if that were the case, that would certainly explain why uh, a hit that looks very clearly like it hit 
uh, miss. So what I tried was this, and this is how I solved the issue. And this is a bit of a hack, I guess, uh, but it seems to work pretty well, and so far it uh, doesn't seem to be causing much issue. Uh, is what I did is this, all right? So I took my hit location, and I just added 200 uh, Unreal units onto the Z. That just means 200 up, right? 200 higher than where it hits. And basically my figuring here is that uh, if there is a micro, you know, micro terrain variation that's blocking, uh, eh, come on, <laughs> that's blocking the 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 line trace, then then putting it up above the ground, above that, uh, above that um, that you know micro surface, should should make it like a clear clear line trace to whatever. Uh, it should be hitting, as you guys will be able to see here now. Um, basically, every hit now is going to register as true. I'm going to shoot them a whole bunch here, just so you can see that basically every every hit is registering as true. Um, I was getting a much more random results before, and even more so before I was shooting the video. I think I just got a bunch of lucky ones. But as you can see, basically every hit now, not basically, but actually every hit now is registering true 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 and so I'm thinking that it's got to be something to do with that line trace uh, and and just that line trace hitting micro uh, micro variations in the terrain landscape which basically block the block the line trace and uh, prevent that line that you know straight line from hitting its its source uh, the other uh, settings of relevance here uh, for my actual uh, explosion actor. I'm going to show you my collision settings on that and I'm going to show you my collision settings. Uh, C O L L, how do you spell collision? C O L, collision settings on, on, do I do the bullet? No, I just do the, the root component. Uh, so this is what I've got for my root component. Um, so you guys can just pause that and copy that because I'm pretty sure that's relevant. I'm pretty sure that matters. And then also on my um, on my uh, on my on my character, my hero character, I've got the capsule set to uh, to these settings here. And also, I wanted to shout out to uh, Iski, Is Is uh, sorry, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac Dev, Isaac Dev. I think that's how you say it, man. Isaac Dev. I want to shout out to Isaac Dev on the Unreal forums for sharing his collision settings. Uh, with me on both hero capsule, the the root component of your your, uh, your basically your collision capsule, and your mesh. Uh, do you need to do both of these? I don't know, <laughs> but his setup has this, and so I copied his setup and his collision settings. So there you guys can see that's the mesh, that's the capsule, um, and that seems to be working. Uh, I guess. So yeah, hopefully that helps you. Um, I, I guess that does it for me. All right, see you guys later.